pass SQL exam 70-461, Programming SQL Server 2012. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. Let's consider the data dictionary. The data dictionary is very important documentation for the database. In the examples we are looking right now, it is uh, the product table. In this case, the data dictionary entries are describing the rows in the table. For example, product ID is the primary key. This is called surrogate primary key because it's a meaningless number integer. Name, name of a product, product number, unique product identification number. The name of a product must be unique as well, otherwise uh, there would be tremendous confusion. So in this case, the natural keys for this table is the name and product number. We could use name as primary key or product number as primary key, but it is uh, simpler and more efficient to use a four-byte integer surrogate primary key. Make flag is a bit column, and here is the description. Zero product is purchased, one product is manufactured in-house. Finish goods flag also bit as well. Safety stock level, minimum inventory, quantity. We can see from this example how important it is to document a table. Because whenever a DB, a database administrator, or a developer is working with a table, the data dictionary is a good reference. This is a productivity tool. With good data dictionary we can achieve better productivity and also easier maintenance of the database system. Product uh, table data dictionary entries are located in the extended properties page. So this is the table and properties and here is extended properties so extended properties has the data dictionary entries in this case the extended properties is the data dictionary entry for the entire table we can examine the data dictionary entry for a column in the product table properties and we go to extended properties and this is a data dictionary entry for the product number column unique product identification number in summary it is very important to prepare a data dictionary for a database very basic to document each column in a table. This can be done by using the extended properties functionality. This is the end of a short demo.